Yo, what is up guys? It is me, Axe here, and guys, we are gonna be playing Jeez, my friend told me to play this. We're gonna be playing some Stanley Parable. I played this game before. I didn't really get through it that much, but we're playing new we're gonna be playing a new game. So yeah, let's hop right into this. The end. Wait. End is never the end is never the end is never the Okay, so it's just repeating the end is never. The end is loading. Cool. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna hop straight into this crap. Oh boy, I don't know. Why am I. Oh God. Yeah, my. Uh, one of my friends told me to play this game because it was fun. I played it before. I bought this back in 2016. So I've had it for a while. But yeah. Just now playing it again. It brings me back to memories, dude. Like, oh, I love this game. Anyway, let's. Uh, <laughs> Wait for it to load. Yeah, there it goes. Once it loads, we're going to go ahead and play some Stanley Parable. <laughs> okay, so... Oops. This is the story of a man named Stanley. That's me. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Okay. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Okay, that's nice. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay, so you can ch so in this game you can choose to follow the the director the guys um follow what he says or not. Uh, we're gonna right now follow what he says. So I mean, walked out. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. There we go. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Just gonna turn off all these. Yeah, maybe you missed the memo that says, uh, Hey, don't come in to work! Cause, uh, yeah, we're not gonna be here. Hold on. Can't open that. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Um, we're gonna follow what he says. Yet, there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, mm. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, All right, let's, hoping uh, he might find an answer there. Go ahead and read this. How to solve a dispute between a co-worker. Let it ball up inside you. Take it passive-aggressively on your co-workers. Wait, what? Reset. Hold on. That No. No. Okay. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, so I guess we'll walk up to his office. Where am I? Okay, there I am. Uh, jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. 
Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief <laughs> who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. I'm scared. I don't know if I want to go down. Well, we're gonna do it. Loading, 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 loading. Yeah, tongue twisters, my dudes. <laughs> tongue twisters, they're uh, they'll get you. Yeah, mainly the reason I'm not talking so much is because he's talking and I don't want to interrupt him. Deeper into the building, like that. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Okay, I don't know. I don't really think I... Question. Oh Stanley God, walked man. straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Gotta follow his rules. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Okay, we're back on track. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. So morbid, but okay. <laughs> Sorry for the voice, that's so morbid, but uh... Hey, then. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, okay. wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? I don't know. But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, the eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Off. Oh. Got a little dark. Got, get, got a little dark. Cool. Want my walk forward now? Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Where, where, where am anything? I? Where am I? Yes. Oh, he dang. Had won. He had defeated the machine, unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense Dang. door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. 
Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? Hey, look, a birdie. As What's up, bird? streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even Wait, in the end, nothing else matters? Seen. Question mark? Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Why does this look like a, stream, a scene straight out of Shrek? I'm not kidding, this looks like a scene straight out of Shrek. Whee! Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Dang. Beat the oh, but that, that was an achievement? Oh, nice. So guys, that was one ending. We're gonna go, f okay, we're gonna go for more ending in this video. We're gonna go to the one where we don't listen to him. Or just say, uh, screw off, buddy. <laughs> Give him the old screw off. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Oh. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Uh, buddy, I don't think so. We're going right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. <laughs> yeah, I know that. Well. Of course he did. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. Mm -hmm. It had really been worth the detour nice. after all. Just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. We got coke. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. <sighs> nice. We got some cups here. What, is, what do the cups say? Uh. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. But eager to get back to business, <laughs> Stanley took the first open door on his left. <laughs> nah. I'm good. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. <laughs> Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is... What? Really? <laughs> I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? I don't. Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Yep. I, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Okay. Yeah, I always like blue better. Aha. <laughs> Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. Mm, but maybe I like blue better. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know me. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. Okay. Nah. I walked the blue. I'll do what I want, buddy. All right. Fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. Okay, you are see, you on? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Kind of. Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. I don't and think in you the did. end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. 
Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You give me absolutely nothing so far. Guns and shooting. What? Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Alright, well, well, I'll trust him. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Oh, you want some critical feedback? Well, I'll give you a, a one. one. I mean, I can understand if you had reservations, you saw ways the game could be improved to more fully express itself mechanically and artistically, but a one? That's not even helpful. What am I supposed to do with that? Uh, but I guess it isn't my place to judge. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. A leaderboard? Really? A leaderboard? A freaking leaderboard. How far am I down? Alright, I get it. I'm on the last. Thanks for rubbing it in. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. I don't care. Hey, I, I mean, hate forgot, it. I've got a prototype of a new game <laughs> I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. Fine, I'll play your game. I mean, this is what I do. I entertain audiences playing flicking games. The baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right. And if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. The Lutikus. The message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. <laughs> They used a stock photo of a baby. I don't care about your game. You heartless bastard. <laughs> Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey. You so sure? So awful. Why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? I don't know. What do we have? Yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Oh boy. Let's see. What do you want me to play for all my fans? Let's see what you want. Minecraft, really? Well, Stanley, is this any better? At last, I mean, the one thing I mean, yeah. I was desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? Well, I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. A house? Okay, I'll build a house, buddy. <laughs> this will go here. No, here. 
And then... Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course. And just to finish it all off... Yes, it's complete. I made this Stanley. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. I'm not ashamed. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. Okay, whatever you say, boss. Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Okay, I guess we're, I guess we're going mining. Okay. Okay. Oh, nice Minecraft music. That's better. Oh, my. It looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? No. Also, guys, if you want to see me play Minecraft, just tell me. It's far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. But I love Minecraft. Come on. Uh, plus, guys, if you ever want to see me play Minecraft, put down in the comments. Just put MC. <laughs> and I'll probably play some Minecraft. What are we on? Portal, really? <laughs> yes, I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. Hello. I couldn't have done it any better myself. Mm, okay, yep. Why is this game even supposed Why, to be? Um, I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. Sure thing. Let's go find out. Mm-hmm. Don't breathe on me. Let's go find out. Can I get through the door? Thank you. just breathe on me when he's sick. Critical thinking, Stanley. What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Can I pick that up? I can. Let's just drop it down. Medicine for your dad. Yeah. And then stuff. No, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games. And I highly doubt you're any wiser for the experience. Which is why, rather than continue to waste my time, I'm just going to leave you here. Wow, thanks, buddy. You can the game if it makes it any richer for you, but as for me, I've had enough. Okay, you got it. So, you get cozy in this room, and if you have any grand revolutionary ideas for the perfect video game, you can just sit there and let it ball up inside you for all eternity. I don't need your advice. I don't need your ratings. And I certainly don't need the validation of a man whose job is to push buttons. I think I'll just go about my business making meaningful cultural contributions to the world. And perhaps every now and then, I'll think back to a man named Stanley who was objectively wrong in every decision he ever made. The thought won't last long. Goodbye, Stanley. Good luck with your work, and I sincerely hope that everyone lives happily ever after. Okay, you too, buddy. Yep. Okay, I'm just gonna jump down, so let's see what's down here. It's a broken map. Okay, what? What? And I'm falling down even more. To my death, I presume? No. This seems a little creepy, but okay. Where are where? Where am I going? Where am I going? Wait, what? You put my pants right over there, buddy. Okay. I feel I, I feel like not going towards the light, but you know, I'm curious. Wait, what? Oh, oh, don't. Oh, what? 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 In the? Well, I guess there's a. Uh, I guess there's no of that. I guess the. Yeah, I guess we gotta restart. So, thank you guys so much for. Wa I guess we'll end it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, please hit that like button. Subscribe for more. Hit the bell button. 
Comment down below what game you want me to play after this. Anyway, guys, I will see you in the next one. Peace.